DG and OG M20 to see versus focus right Scarlet to act. Let's have a look. Let's come in here for an inspect. It has the combo jacks with the two dials. They do look a little bit fancier. 48 volt button on the front. Thank you. Focus right. Well done with that one. You got direct monitoring on or off. You got your monitor knob. And you've got your headphone knob. So the main difference here is that you there's two things missing. You don't have the mono button. So the mono button is handy because if you're recording into software where you want to hear everything in both speakers. So say you're using software that puts the first channel on the left and the second channel on the right. You want to sum those down to mono right. So you can hear them in both ears. You hit the mono button on the standby and that will put it to mono. It's a feature I only use occasionally. But it's super handy that it's there. When it does, when it's there, the other thing is your focus right only has either direct monitoring on or off. So direct monitoring means that it's monitoring straight from the interface, so the audio is going in. That's often called zero latency or no latency monitoring, direct monitoring. So if you want to hear exactly what's going on with no delay, no latency, no lie. But focus right, Scarlet to I to can't do this because it don't have this button. Then we flip it around to the back. It is here's no more other button, just has to output. Then let's have a look. 20 to see so we've got the same to combo jacks with the two fancy dials they do look a little bit fancier we also have 48 volts and have monitoring and headphone knobs on the front the main difference is that we have a mono stereo toggle button this allows us to achieve something that the Focusrite Scarlet Twitter cannot do. It's just a button you just flick it on or off. The difference there is as you would have seen with the M20 to see it has that dial. So if you want to hear a mix between the affected signal, so this is good if you're doing vocal recording and you want to hear some of the reverb coming back through, but you know that with the reverb signal, it's going to be a bit delayed, a bit latency driven. You can put it half and half that way. You're hearing it directly back to keep your timing, but maybe you can hear a little bit of the effects to actually sing along. We can see that the back of the M20 to C is the same as the Focusrite Scarlet to I2. However, when we look at the front, the M20 to C has a very professional looking display which the Focusrite Scarlet 2i to lacks. Additionally, the M20 to C also features Osseo drivers. And one more significant difference is that the M2 to C has a sampling rate of 30 to bit and 190 to kilohertz, whereas the Focusrite Scarlet 2i2 has 24 bit and 190 to kilohertz. This difference is quite substantial. In terms of pricing, the M20 to C is significantly lower in price compared to the Focusrite Scarlet 2i2, nearly $80 cheaper. Overall, in terms of appearance and professionalism, the M20 to C outperforms the Focusrite Scarlet 2 i 2 and it also offers a better cost performance ratio. In conclusion, I believe I would choose the M20 to C over the Focusrite Scarlet 2 i 2 Thanks for watch. If you want to know more about audio interface informations, please follow us. This is DGNO GM20 to C audio interface.